And 43 right now following a two year hiatus due to the pandemic. The Broad Ripple Art Fair is back and bigger than ever. This year is the 50th anniversary of the Indianapolis Arts Center's largest annual fundraiser. It's this Saturday and Sunday and thousands of people are expected to attend and joining me with more details this morning are the president of the Indianapolis Art Center, Mark Williams, who's standing next to me and jewelry artist Heidi Mandich. Good morning to the both of you. I appreciate it. Good morning, it. Dan. Mark, I want to start with you first. This is a fun event. A lot of people come far and wide just to come to this event. That's right. We're expecting nearly 15,000 people to show up throughout the wow. weekend. Wow. Yeah. And it's Saturday and Sunday. Both Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 5 each day. And mm -hmm. there's a preview, though, Friday, correct? That's right. A special preview party the night before. Talk mm -hmm. about that and what makes this fair such an iconic one. Well, we're saying it's finally the 50th because we waited two years, <laughs> but it is really uh, the epicenter of uh, creativity for a weekend. Yeah. It is it is the best of fine arts, visual arts, and the best of our music scene and all in one. And speaking of some of the fine art there, Heidi, you're an artist yourself and you're showcasing some of your incredible work at the show. Talk about your passion, first of all, for getting involved in making this art. Well, it's been a wonderful journey for me. I started at the Art Center with my first class in 2006. Oh, wow. As an adult learner. Okay. Oh, fell as a learner. And fell in love with manipulating metal using hammers, torches, and saws, and creating from sheet and wire jewelry and with a little imagination and creativity. So it's been a lot of fun. And I've been able to teach there as well since 2010 to give this same love to other adults who want to learn in the classes that I teach. That is incredible. Mark, there are 150 artists that will be on display at this show. Talk about what people can expect to see. Yeah, a little bit of everything, to be honest. There are uh, 150 of the highest quality artists. We put a high focus on quality for right. the entries this year, and it's, a, it's an adjudicated process, so you have to qualify to get into the art fair. So okay. you'll see everything from uh, ceramics to paintings to metals to fabrics to jewelry uh, and more jewelry mm -hmm. like Heidi's over here. We're Several actually going to are... take a look at some of uh, Heidi's jewelry because we have a camera that can actually get up close on some of it. Kind of explain what people will be able to see that you make. Um, one of the things that I do that's unique is what I call quilling, which is a paper art. Okay. And people, a lot of people are familiar with it. They it started in the Renaissance. They would roll pieces of paper on quills and then build three-dimensional uh, images with that. And I thought, I wonder if I could do that in metal. So that's what I've been doing with the metal, making the strips. Not as cooperative as paper. Right. Requires being soldered. So, um, but that's been um, something that's fun and unique that I, that I do. And then I build the chains with the torch. That's pretty incredible. How important is the art fair to you as an artist? I've been doing it. I started as a student in 2007, yeah. and I have been a member of the art fair itself since I think it's 2010 or 11. So that, it's, it's my favorite. That and, is fantastic. Uh, and certainly I've missed it for two years, so we're glad to have it back. Yeah, Heidi Mann ditched a local artist. Jewelry artists will be featured at the uh, Broad Ripple Art Fair, as well as Mark Williams, who is the Indianapolis President Art Center we're going to give away some tickets right now. Really do appreciate you both coming on this morning to talk about the show.